hey y'all welcome back to my channel so it is monday evening um today is october october 15th and it has been a crazy monday like i didn't even have time this morning to film or vlog nothing like and i was like on time for work and everything i just came in rolling but i got so much work to do like my table isn't as dirty as it, ha as it has been before but i um we have parent teachers conference coming up and so i need to get ready for parent teachers conference we have so much to do for that it's actually next monday and i'm not gonna say i'm not prepared but i'm not like I'm just I'm I know what I'm gonna do. I just have to get out my stuff together. And so that's where I am right now. I have been doing um so many sacks and um seem like I know every four lessons or every five lessons or something, the sacks and um what is it called? Oral assessment comes around. So I've been having been trying to do those. And then um I mean it's just it's just been a lot. It's just it really has been a lot. And I'm contemplating, this is, okay, that's better. So I'm contemplating doing like the uh, student-led, uh, what is it? Y'all help me out. My brain is fried right now. The student-led um, conferences, but I probably won't do it. But just because I'm just not in the mood to like have the explain xyz to the kids and making sure they have everything i just i would rather have it done and know how i'm gonna do it versus having to show them how to do it and what to do and on top of all of that we have a writing gallery thursday so i need to pull some stuff for tomorrow for the writing writing gallery friday thursday and i mean it's just a lot it's just really really a lot and so I'm so tired and I've been at a and I've been at a team meeting all evening and well since like 235 but um I don't know I'm so tired I don't even feel like doing anything I think I'm gonna just like go and you know get it together later I'm gonna just have to get it together later but that's all I really got planned. I did do a lot of stuff. I I just have been so busy, been moving, been just, it's just been so much going on, like, in and outside of school, especially with these centers, and I'm still trying to get my center life together and do these, um, just do these reading practice, oral assessments, keeping up with sex, and, wonders is like blowing my mind like if y'all use wonders and you got a grasp on it and a hold on it i mean like drop some comments below we use wonders where is my wonders book and it is driving me absolutely insane it is driving me absolutely insane and maybe i'm overthinking i got to be overthinking but it is so much like to just do for wonders and to have for wonders and and I'm, I'm just not even sure i'm mentally there yet like i feel like this is so overwhelming this is so overwhelming anyway i did want to show y'all my um <laughs> okay i just switched gears real real quick i did want to show y'all my outfit of the day so i'm wearing like these high waist um pants from Belk and this shirt I'm gonna come back here this high waist pants from Belk and this uh, shirt from She Inside outlet actually and I was kind of concerned about it because I know like when you get clothes from like overseas and different stuff like that sometimes it don't fit right and this is a real body this is a you know mama body and ain't no butt shots and light bulbs and all that going on here this is a real and so you know i was a little worried but like all the clothes i gotta do fit really well 
anyway let me call it an evening um about to get ready to go i am gonna take my wonders book back home my centers are good for this week um i could show y'all the centers for this week so we have to start centers on i used to then start centers to wednesday but now we're starting centers on um monday so we do centers every single day but this is the right the room and i got this from the printable princess write the room write the word and uh this center is over here in my kitchen set area and so i just like literally taped them all around the kitchen area over here and they just walk around and write it um like this person she left hers but basically they have this sheet and they just uh write the words that's on there the seasonal words and then color the pictures and it really helps with handwriting and you know help them understand letter placement and all this the syllable sort now a lot of them have not finished oh can i get it out have not finished this syllable sort but basically they're supposed to put um the syllables that have the words that have one syllable on this side on the one and the words that have two syllables on this side on the two and what they're gonna do is when they finish with the actual activity because i do have like the cards and so then they just uh get this worksheet and they cut it out and well they color it first and then they put the syllables with one on this side syllables with two on this side and this is how it's coming out i haven't checked them but they're looking pretty good um the only thing is i hope they know where their other pieces are because like this person is missing pieces so next up we have the alphabet lineup and with the alphabet lineup is just what it says the alphabet liner but it's several different sheets you can use with this i did do the uppercase lowercase activity and i did this uh worksheet so after they do the activity where they have to sort the cards the uppercase here the cards down here they sort the uppercase and lowercase cards then they have to um put them in the they have to or, uh put the letters in order okay and this person left their paper in here which is a no 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 name is even on it so i don't know who did it but then this is the raking in the leaves or raking in the letters uh -oh. what is this activity called ah. raking in the letters so basically um they do their activity first they do their alphabets and then they can make their alphabets using the play-doh so i let them do that and this thing is a mess like woo. okay then the green table does not have a activity there because that's the table they when they go get to that table they go to my pink table for um like interventions in small groups but the orange table oh my goodness y'all me and this orange table we're gonna have a falling out because they just can't i need to find a better method of them keeping this stuff organized but basically i like all their materials and everything are in here they just like so wild and sloppy and i've i've taught them and i reiterated and i have shown them even like leaving their papers in here like take your papers out but um uh, anyway so this is the what's missing alphabet edition so basically they pick a card any card and the number on top is where they are supposed to write their answer so if they have the number 15 then they write the number 15 in the box they write the answer for the number 15 and then they have the alphabet strips in here so if they need help they find t what comes for t s comes before t so they'll know to write an s right here he didn't erase that good. Write an S right here and then number 15, write an S. And I mean, getting them to understand that process is a bit of a, whew, I mean, it's going to take some practice. Because some of them are not really strong with um, staying organized and order and the, the process of how things work. And so getting them to really pay attention and stay focused on thought I had dropped something and stay focused on 
where they're supposed to write the uh, write the answer what answer they're supposed to write just things like that it can be difficult for them anyway i'm about to call it a night and i will check back in with y'all tomorrow bye good morning today is um 9 30 i mean not 9 30 it's tuesday september october 16th and it is 9 13 look at that it's 9 13 guys and i am in my classroom just needing uh, to do a whole lot of stuff but first of all i'm hungry so i'm finna eat this banana and then i need to get out my sacks and stuff because we had um school pictures this morning so we did not do our um uh, we did not do our funnest lesson so i need to get that out uh oh i don't even see it oh here it is why is this stuff this stuff is a hot mess well it's not a hot mess but it just it's it's just so much it's just so much you have to really stay organized but um we are doing the letter i and this is this is saxon this is what we do i mean nine to ten i mean eight to nine is what we do sex it has to be saxon that's our reading block um we have a literacy coach our literacy coach did inform us that we would be using another program i don't even remember oh anyway it helps with that phonemic awareness we got our test scores back our um MCAT scores and the ones that really stood out were the uh, <clears throat> phonemic and awareness standards and so um, she pulled the program that she was familiar with or she said she was familiar with I'm not sure I will see when we get it but um, so we're going to be using Saxon Phonics I need to find the name of that program uh, whatever this new program is and Wonders so I'm not against it. I'm not. I'm not against it. I'm just. It's just a lot, and I have to get more organized, and I have to get more prepared because, like, even my sex and uh, oral assessments. Like, I'm still doing those. It's just that she said this other problem was only like ten minutes a day, and you only do it with like you do it with everybody, but you have focused students that you know need it, and so those are the students we'll be focusing on so that's that um centers today of course it's uh tuesday we do centers monday through friday so centers today um we had we started adding in math so that's fun stuff right adding in math and that's about it um i got all my copies and stuff made i do need to make some math copies but I got all my copies and stuff made. I got um parents teachers conferences coming up. The parents are sending in like um sending in their times that they want to come. And I've been seeing a lot of stuff about student led conferences, but I'm just not um I'm not prepared for that. I need to kind of really really analyze what I would want to do the student led conferences or how I would want to do the student led conferences and really uh, have that mindset before going into it and our, our conferences are parent teacher conferences are Monday October 22nd so I just cannot um, I can't get prepared in that short amount of time but uh, some things that I am showing during parent teacher conferences is of course their children's work and we uh have report cards so i'm showing them the report cards and i am going to attempt to go standard by standard the thing about going standard by standard is uh a lot of parents don't understand the standards so we could i could be going over it but they're not going to understand or I, I have to make them know what it is so i need to find a, i need to do the standard and find an example of how we teach it or what they should be able to do after the standard is taught does that make sense and so i, I have some work samples i'm showing um just a lot of little different stuff some things i have to work on I, some things i have to focus on i'm really um even my like focus students i'm telling their parents like your child is a focused child your child is someone that needs help in these areas and um 
I even thought about like sending home maybe extra like a packet or something just like a, a get ready packet so they can have the option of doing that like on the weekends if they finish homework early something like that to just kind of prep the parents because um I just don't have enough time to do to practice with these students I need I need some participation at home I really really do and um I have been like pulling them to do like extra work and the interventionist pulls my tier three but uh it's just still not enough even with like center time when we doing centers and i pull them during the extra center time um i have some really low ones who are kind of like need one-on-one -on -one. and it's hard for them to work in a group because they get distracted easily or they're just it's just too much going on around them basically and so like during, I pull them during specials I pull them maybe um, before school starts if I make it here on time or something like that where they'll just have individualized instruction and my um, assistant actually pulls them outside as well so if like I'm doing whole group and they're just not keeping up then she'll take them outside so that's that um, let me show you my outfit of the day i'm getting better at these y'all and um hopefully this is a good angle i'm not even sure if this is a good angle but this is my outfit of the day i got this little tie up top from um she inside outlet like all their stuff is like literally two dollars three dollars four dollars now these pants are from the limited let me tell you this i got these from belt but they are the limited pants and i remember shopping at the limited when i was you know younger like high school when the store was actually a store it wasn't like owned by belk or whatever or a prop picked up from belt and like the quality it's not bad but it's just not the limited like the limited had some good quality stuff um and this shirt is just a ruffle tie up shirt, long sleeve. And I have on some coach flats. And I've had these coach flats for forever. I need to find try to find some more. I want some black ones probably, but you know. I don't even know if they sell these kind anymore. Anyway, so that's that. Um I'm trying to think of anything else. I think that's all. And I just need to get prepared for when the students come back in because we were running a little late this morning because we took pictures today. It was picture day. And so, uh, during our eight to nine Saxon, we actually didn't do Saxon. And so, we started it. And so, I need to finish it when they get back. So, anyway, I'll check back in with y'all later. Have a good day. Bye. All right, y'all. So, I'm back. It is the end of the day. I'm not sure what time it is. Hold on. All right, so it is 2.38 and it is, the kids are all gone, but I still have so much work to do. And I feel like every time I come on here, I say I have so much work to do, but I legit have so much work to do. And I was actually like watching um, Netflix just because the kids, I, I, when the kids are here making noise, I'm like, y'all be quiet, y'all keep it down. Then when the kids are gone and it's like, so quiet and you is there's no noise i need like a noise maker so i need like music or something going like a movie but this movie i actually started watching and i was like oh let me stop i can watch this later when i get home or something because i have work i need to do but i just wanted to come on and i know i was telling y'all it's parent teachers conference coming up so i made this folder for me so i can have because pantry's conference is monday and i still have about let me see uh oh i got quite a few parents who cannot sign up so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i have about half i have 21 kids and i have 10 who have not signed up so right now that's what i'm uh my plan is to get some stuff organized with the parent teachers conference and i actually need to go over to my computer so let's go to the computer because i want to find something on um tpt that's kind of like um 
I saw something like with the uh, glows and grows, like what they needed to do to improve and and things that they are already good at. I need something like that because I am going to attempt to go through like the standards with them and I want them to see what they need help on so we can pull those specific skills and help them so i'm drinking the kids snacks eating the kids snacks and drinking their juice i mean i need a snack too really we had our fruit and vegetable today and we had uh apples and grapes i already ate those i'm hungry so that's what i need to do Look out here and find something. But I just kind of need something that's going to help me. Uh, what I'm trying to say. But I just need something that's going to just kind of help me um explain it to the parents as as to what they need help on so i want to do like a progress report um this thing says progress report kindergarten for parents let's see and then another thing that i don't like about uh one thing i don't like about tpt is like they had a preview but what if you want to preview the whole thing? You want to preview like some of it. And um, what if it's not really what you want? Because I bought something the other day and it was like 10 books and I really couldn't use it. It was like for first grade and I was like, whoa, no, first grade, no. Nah. So I kind of wanted to do something like that. Maybe something like this, okay? See something? Okay. And I could, I, I, every student, let me see if it just pull up. Come on, computer. My computer is so slow. So slow. Okay, so here it is. Let's see if we can see this. But, um, you have your student, blah, 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 blah. Then you have your standards. Then the score. See that I won't need the score because we don't do grades in kindergarten. But the comments that they would need. But you know, like we need help on. Well, no, that's not really what I want. Okay, no. No, that's not really what I want. It's about this. I want something. I saw something like where it said grows and glows. Like what they're good at and what they need help on. So, I want to find something like this. Uh -oh, if I can get the camera to stick. So, I want to find something like this. Okay, so I want to find something like grows and glows for. Let's see if this is what it is. Conference form. Okay. It's, it's a conference form. Yeah, because we're having a parent teacher conference. this because it says person responsible and I really think we should start holding like the students more responsible now because they in kindergarten I know that they have a lot you know there's a lot that they cannot control but they can control you know their grades as far as them coming to school and taking it seriously But I still don't really like it. It's like, you, I don't know what I'm looking for. But I'm just not finding what I'm looking for.
must have forms for parent teacher conference. Okay. Let's see if we must have it then. I got the conference reminder. I like that. How does your child feel about school? I did see something with um a suggestion was given like a um student should give a self evaluation. Like the things I like, the things I don't like. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily feel like I like that idea, but it's not a must have. See, I like this. How's your child doing in school? Your child does well on blah, blah, blah. Your child could work on blah, blah, blah. I liked it, but I wanted to say something about the standard. Areas of strength, areas of improvement. I like this. Okay. I could I could see this. I wouldn't call it a must have, but I think it's good to have. I'ma print these because I need to go to the print and print some more stuff too. Like we are downstairs at the very end of the hall because kindergarten has to be on the uh on the uh, ground level and we have to be 120 feet from the exit just in case like a fire emergency or something and so we are like all the way on the opposite part of the school than the office and so it's like a headache walking all the way up there but i gotta do this i gotta do this because i kind of want to work on the stuff tonight I'm not saying I'm gonna work on it tonight, but I kind of should. I kind of want to. Kind of need to. But when I get home, it's probably gonna be a different story. Because as a parent, like as a okay, as a teacher and a parent, I cannot let these children suck the life out of me and I not have enough life to give to my child because he is like a handful like he's three he's active he's healthy he's super you know energetic like he has a lot going on with them himself and so I can't let these kids suck me dry while I can't give it to my baby so that's another reason when like I go home my teacher brain is off it's like teacher brain off, mommy brain on. Because at his school, even though he's three, he has homework. And it's not like, you know, jaw-breaking homework. But it's still homework. And it's stuff that he still needs to do. And it's stuff like that I want to go over with him as far. Okay, I had to stop. Another teacher walked in. It's hella awkward when people walk in and you like talking to a camera. But you, you like want to be like, I'm not weird. I'm just, you know talking to my teacher friends or whoever y'all are on YouTube that's all like I'm not that weird maybe a little bit okay whatever who cares so I'm just gonna sit here and try to find something I need to go up to the office because I said I gotta sign up for my pre-observation form um not my pre-observation form my, I gotta sign up for my pre-observation which I think I'm gonna um uh, I'm going to go during center time. I mean, I'm going to let them come during center time. So, I think that's when I'm going to come, during center time. Let, usually, I go, I do my observation between um, 8 and 9 because that's our sex and funnies. And like I always say, I got sex and funnies damn pack. Like, I know sex and like the back of my hand. But I do want to be kind of like creative and do some out the box, challenge myself. Because I do centers well, I think, also. But, um, you know how you just more comfortable with sex? And so, or, like, you know how you comfortable with something, so you kind of want to step out of that zone and, you know, challenge yourself. And so, that's what I think I'm going to do. But, anyway, I'm going to end the day here. And I will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be better as far as timing like my time management waking up on time getting to school on time all that good stuff 
So anyway, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. Hello. So I'm currently doing report cards. I am, well, right now I'm just writing the names on them. I'm not actually doing the report card, but I wanted to show y'all something. We have a, uh, we have a um, writing gallery walk thing um, tomorrow. And so for kindergarten, of course, a lot of them aren't writing, writing. And so in Wonders, y'all know we use the beloved Wonders. In Wonders, we had they give you like what to write about each day. Each day we do a writing activity, and to well yesterday it was um, the prompt was basically we're writing about uh, what would the misbehaving dinosaur do in the grocery store based on the book How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? And if you ever read the book How Does Dinosaur How Does How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? Basically they um propose questions like does the dinosaur yell does the dinosaur roar does the dinosaur stomp and then it'll say um in the book like halfway through the book it said no and it gives the good behaviors of the dinosaur what the dinosaur does at school he um sits quietly he helps his friends he doesn't be a bully he stands up for people and so um for our writing we had to use that same pattern so what i did was the uh basically it gives you the um sentence frame because some of the students cannot um think of complete sentences or write complete sentences and so these are a few of our sentence frames i wish i had one that wasn't written on hold on i do so this is one of them and i know this is so homemade y'all we did this like on the spur of the moment so it's not all cute and fancy but basically it looks like this it has an area for them to draw the picture that's the title and then the questions are does a dinosaur blank and they have to fill in the blank with a misbehaving uh a misbehavior okay and then no a good dinosaur blanks so for instance a lot of mine like this little boy he puts I don't know if y'all can see that. But he put, does a dinosaur roar? And on the second sentence, no, a good dinosaur talks. Well, instead of, I hope y'all can see this. How he spelled talk, T-O-G. A lot of them can't hear the talk. And they literally write how they sound, like how, how they hear it. And so, uh, and of course, we're from Mississippi. So we have that southern draw. And we have that, um... And we just have that southern accent. And so, you know, they have to be taught the correct spelling and how to say these words the correct way. And so, he put TLG for talk. And then, um, the last sentence is, he talks. And they give you different, um, suggestions. Those were just the three I picked. They were supposed to be writing the story. And so, those are just the three I picked. And it wasn't necessarily a struggle, but it was... A challenge and this showed me that I really need to incorporate more writing because I thought we would just kind of like do the activity and um, you know they, they would kind of like pick up on it but it was the pattern that I think was getting them that they had to start out with a misbehavior then uh, put something like a good behavior and so I think that's what kind of tripped them up because they were just kind of like mm. and I read the book twice to give them examples but we try to do writing every day writing is in our schedule every day um, a lot of writing that we do because we are still I have a big bulk of my students who are still learning letter formation um, so we do a lot more of that and not a lot of narrative writing and this would be considered like a narrative writing and then he drew a picture of the um uh, of the dinosaur talking in the grocery store instead of roaring so i mean you know we're getting there slowly but surely but i just feel like if i can't get a hold on wonders then i would just be doing so much better but anyway, I'm gonna get ready to hang my stuff out because the stuff does have to go out. The um, papers do need to go outside. 
So when they do the uh, riding walk, they can just kind of look at it and see it and then just keep on moving. It's nothing that they have to come into the room and see a lesson on it or anything. It's just the uh, final product that they want. So I'm going to get ready to do that. Um, try to finish my report cards and I'm going to try to get out of here and um, call it a night. So I'm sorry I didn't get to check in with you all earlier. Oh, let me do my little outfit. Um, Today, I'm just wearing this cardigan from uh, New York and Company. This shirt is from, this is from Shein Fit uh, Outlet too. And then I have some black slacks on. So, let me see, I'm gonna back up. And I am wearing my Coach Flats, of course, because Coach makes the most comfortable flats. Like, these two flats are unbelievably comfortable, so. Well, I'll take that back. These are comfortable. I have some other coach flats that are just like, oh, they hurt the side of my foot so bad. And I have wide feet, so they hurt really bad. Anyway, um, I think that's it. I'll check back in with you all tomorrow. But I'm going to call it a day for now. Bye. Good morning. Today is October the 17th and it's actually morning time or you know the start of the morning when I'm getting ready to when I'm actually filming. Usually I've been so busy that I have not been able to pick up this camera on in the morning time. So anyway I feel like I haven't. Maybe I have. I don't know. But um Today is Thursday and it is National School Lunch Week. I forgot to mention that. So um, I'm gonna try to find like some, uh, I'm gonna try to like take the camera in the cafeteria so you can see like the cafeteria is bomb. Like they really go out there for National School Lunch Week. And it's like a, um, it's like a uh, Tex-Mex um, theme. So like Texas, Mexico type thing. So we get to wear like cowboy stuff tomorrow or whatever. Um, but I have been so swamped with like report cards and parentage conference that I hadn't, I'm not on the events and planning committee. So I have not even been worried about that stuff. I just been focusing on parentage conference. So today was a good morning. We did start off. We did our Saxon already. We did, um, we did our morning meeting. We did all that. And when the kids get back, they they don't get back until it's 10. And it's 9-11 now. I don't know if y'all can see. It's 9-11 now. And they don't get back till 10. So when they get back, we are going to um, finish our center school. Because what I'm finding out is we just don't have a lot of time on Fridays to do um, a lot of centers. And so what I'm going to try to do is finish the centers today and use tomorrow as a time to um, finish all unfinished work. Because even I, my plan worked out to have those... Um, those uh, fidelity checks at the end or at the beginning of the center because my students are actually uh, finishing just in time or they still have work that they need to complete and I like it better that way because a lot of my students were like rushing through the activity and saying I'm done what I can do next and they weren't really taking their time and um you know, just really enjoying the, the center, enjoying what they were doing. It was a more so, um, I'm finished, what's next type thing. And so I wanted something that's going to challenge them, but not like frustrate them. And I wanted something that they could do and um, something that was effective and efficient. Nothing that was like busy work, something that could reflect the center. And so um, I'm glad I put out those fidelity checks. So that's a plus. And uh, just like a few little things in my classroom, um, I, I may have forgot to mention, but I have started um, implementing more independence. So by that, I mean like, um, I used to sharpen the pencils every evening, but I would forget. So I would have to come in and sharpen pencils. I would still run out of time sharpening pencils. So then during the day, I'm having to sharpen pencils and it just bothered me so much. And so what I uh, allow my students to do now is I've decided that in the morning, they sharpen. You're, you sharpen your own pencils, they sharpen pencils. So everyone sharpens their own pencils. And I made the announcement, it's been going a couple days. And I told them, you know, count to five, stick it in, count to five and it should be sharpened and when they get it come out if it's sharpened you know go to your seat if it's not then you know stick it back in maybe another five seconds and pull it out and it should be good to go but um that's working uh, that's that's working pretty good i still have some students who are a little apprehensive who are just kind of like 
I sharpened my pencil and I'm like, yes, go sharpen your pencil. I had one little boy today. He was, it was in the morning time and I, I did the restroom like that too. When you come in, unpack, if you need to use the restroom, go ahead and use it because we don't have time to, uh, in between them getting ready for the start of the day and us actually starting a date to you. We don't have a block of time to go take the cold place to the restroom like we used to. So I told them, you know, if you need to use the restroom, use the restroom. So shopping pencils, use the restroom. Everything in the morning. And one little boy is like, can I go to the restroom? I'm like, yeah, you can go to the restroom. Just go. You know, like, I want y'all to be independent. I want you all to be, um, I, I don't know. I just want them to understand if I need to do something, get up and go do it. Don't, you you know what the erasers are, so get up and go get an eraser. You know, all this raising your hand, hollering out, it's just, I want them to be more um, proactive in their learning. So if you know you need something, go do it. If you know, you know, it just, if you, if you have to have something, then do it beforehand. So I'm trying to implement that slowly but surely. And it's, it's working out pretty good. I don't have any major complaints. Um, and that's about it. I feel like I'm coming down with something. I don't know if it's sinus allergies or cold or what. But I do feel it. I really, really feel it. And so, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to take me some medicine. I don't want it to make me sleepy though. So, that's that. But... Oh, let me do my outfit. Today is the Jeans Day because we have Math Mania at my school. And on Tuesdays, if uh, over half your class makes Math Mania, then you can wear uh, jeans on Thursday. And then Fridays, we usually wear jeans anyway. So, this is my shirt. Just a little cute top. I like this color that I got from, uh, all my tops this week have been from Shein Side. Alright, and then just some jeans and some flats of course flats i don't usually do heels at school that's just not my thing um but i need to get some more flats like this these are some older flats but they just like tied up in just some regular old, um blue jeans and well they're skinny leg blue jeans but that's about it um i have so much work to do so let me get to work and i will talk to y'all later bye Okay, so I did want to share this real quick. Originally, I think I showed y'all my center. Originally, I did not put out this center, and I still have it. But this is the, um, what is it actually called? Um, Acorn Sounds. And basically, they match the, I have to cut all these pieces out. But they match the letter to the picture that makes that sound. Cool, right? Some of my kids are just can't do this just yet but i do have a few who are leaning toward that uh who are leaning toward that way and i just really want to push them i just really want to push them so i'm going ahead and put this center out and i wanted to show y'all i have um students who i think could i don't know if y'all do ar tests or y'all i don't know if y'all know what ar tests are but we do ar tests and basically it's a reading comprehension program and so uh i am going to i got this one book and i'm gonna see if the the kids can read it and um let them take a test on it and i have maybe two or three that i think could do this and then i need to set up moby max for my students um, all my students are, we have Moby Max in my school, and Moby Max is just a, uh, another resource, it's an online resource for students to, uh, study their grade level material. So, and we just recently got Flocabulary, so I need to sign my class up for Flocabulary. Anyway, with that being said, it's just so much for me to do, but I did want to show y'all those standards, and I did want to, um, come out and tell y'all about our new we're well not our new but our other um other problems we our other problems that we are using so